Hoffman D. Text, translated by E.W. West, Part 2, The Data Steny Denique and the Epistles of Maniskihar, Clariton, Oxford University Press, 1882, Chapter 89. As to the 88th question and reply, that which you ask is thus, when a man resolves within himself thus, in the summertime I will go and depart, and will give so much money for the high priesthood on account of the fires and other matters, which are as greatly advantageous, though he himself does not come in the parse, but sends the money according to his intention, or in excess of it, unto the high priests, so that he is like the great who send in excess of that unto the high priests, that, as the benefit is greater, which is more maintained, they may provide for the buyers of every kind and other matters. Is then his proceeding of sending to parse for that purpose a sin or not? The reply is this, that if his coming be indispensable for the design he would undertake, then it is indispensable for him to accomplish his own mental undertaking. But in suffering which is excited and not avoidable, when there is really no possibility of his traveling himself, any one whom he sends in his place, more particularly on that account, is not acceptable by the approval of the angels who would realize the affliction in his good thought. But the good work is to be eagerly well considered. Good gifts and every office gots about good works which it is possible to perform are what are commendable in the well-housed man that is not able to work himself. They are avoidable by him when not of good race, and are not indispensable for him whenever the good work is not announced. When able to manage it himself, it is better, and when otherwise his appointment of a faithful person over its preparation and his accomplishment of the work of selector are expedient. And whether it's handing over money or other religious acts, um, like a pilgrimage, we can give somebody the means for a pilgrimage and have it count on your path. But it's best that you physically go yourself. Um, and if you can physically go yourself and it's obliged to do a pilgrimage where you physically go yourself, then, you know, same thing with um, being a warrior. Again, if one pays for such a thing that one could physically do oneself, it's not a sin, but it doesn't fulfill the requirement. I, I mean, it's even a good deed, but it doesn't fulfill the requirement for that which you uh, could have done physically yourself.